Welcome back to CS201 Walkthroughs. My name is Lukash, and today I want to talk about satisfiable and equivalent. Because, I mean, God, are these good good homework problems. These are my maybe my favorite homework problems in this course. Um, let's read through the definition, or I guess the problem specifications together carefully. So satisfiable takes a Boolean expression, as we've previously defined it, returns true if it's satisfiable and false otherwise. Okay, and then it defines that below. A Boolean expression is a satisfiable if there exists an environment for which in which its value is one. Okay, so let's remember really quickly that truth tables include every possible environment, right? Their list of rows include entries where the keys are all possible environments. So I bet you could do something like check the truth table and see if it ever outputs one, right? And if it ever outputs one, then there exists an environment in which it outputs one. And if it never outputs one, then there doesn't exist an environment in which it outputs one. That one I don't think is, is too tricky. Let's think about equivalent. It takes two Boolean expressions, expression one and expression two, and returns true. If they're equivalent and false, if they're not equivalent, okay, great. Well, let's look at the definitions of equivalent, the definition of equivalent, Two Boolean expressions are equivalent if for every environment which assigns values to all the variables in either expression, they have the same value in that environment. Okay, that's a little bit confusing. Um, I, if you're anything like me, what you'll, what you'll do when you'll see this is you'll think, hey, you know, let's just compare their truth tables, row by row. That should be trivial, basically, right? If they have the same truth tables, they're equivalent. They have to be the same in every environment. And if they don't, then they're not equivalent, right? That's not quite true. They don't have to have the exact same truth table to be equivalent. So let me give you an example. Um... I'm going to give you this example. I'll write one right here. Okay? Equivalent zero B and A B not A. The truth tables for these are not the same. The truth table for zero has no variables. The truth table for this does have variables. So it has multiple lines. I can't compare them line by line, that, that, that wouldn't work, right? So we can also realize that I could do this with any number of variables, right? I could do something like b and b, and then this would, you know, oh, I can make it longer. b and uh, b not c. And be not, or let's put in here, be not, be not, a, something like that, right? I, I can make, uh, I can make an, uh, a Boolean expression with an arbitrary number of variables that has the same, that is equivalent to zero, even though it won't have the same truth table. So the question is, how do we? How do we test if two things are equivalent? It says they have to be equivalent for every single environment which assigns values to all of the variables in either expression. Okay, so I guess what you could do if you really wanted was to take all the variables from both expressions, mash those together, and make one giant truth table where we say something like, okay, you know, uh, go through every single possible assignment of variables in to all of the variables in both of the expressions and see if they have the same output in those cases. I don't think that's the easiest way to do this. There's a hint up here that says one possibility might be to use satisfiable to help implement equivalent. And you're thinking satisfiable? How is satisfiable going to help me? Right? Well, let's 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 think I'm, I don't want to I don't want to ruin it for you because this is such a cool problem. Let's remember that satisfiable essentially Satis 
identifiable tells us if there is any environment in which in which 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 an expression returns true or returns one we'll say so what if I made an expression out of the two expressions past two equivalent that returns one only or returns zero when they output the same value one otherwise okay let's let's read this one more time make an expression out of the two expressions past to equivalent so the two expressions past to equivalent are x1 and x2 we make an expression out of these boolean expressions remember boolean expressions are recursive so we can do that that outputs that returns zero when they output the same value in one otherwise right so i want a truth table to look like well let's 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 write it out so here's zero zero here's zero one here is one zero and then one one i want the output to be zero when they output the same value so the output here would be zero here would be zero and then here would be one and here would be one i realize i just messed up the formatting right so this would be my new expression so the question is how can i design an expression that does that and when it does that what would i get if i asked if this new expression is satisfiable it would tell me if there's ever any environment that this new expression returns one or in, in other words when these two expressions don't output the same value okay i'm going to leave it there i'm not going to give you any more hints um, of course, if you have questions or if you have trouble or if you've spent an hour thinking about this and, and it doesn't make sense yet, come into office hours, post on Piazza, email the CS201 help email. Thanks for watching this video, and I hope to see you in the next one.